Oh man, what's going on? How y'all doing? Um, post game reaction video from your boy Twin. Welcome to the Twin Empire here on YouTube where we sit back, relax, talk about the 49ers and what we got going on, pros and cons of the things that they did well and the things that they did horribly wrong. On today, we did not do what we need to do to win the game. Um, Earlier today, I had keys to victory and I posted a video about it. One of the things I said will be this. Hey, I'm not Nostradamus or anybody, but the number one thing I got on this paper, my guy, win the turnover battle. The league leader in this department is the Philadelphia Eagles with plus nine, and they have 11 takeaways. The 49ers are only plus one in this stat, and we only have seven takeaways, five interceptions, and two fumbles. So just so you know, on this game, we had three turnovers on our half, and the Atlanta Falcons had zero. Not only did they not have, not only did they have zero, I don't think they were close to even getting a turnover. And one of the second keys to the game or keys to the victory was this. I had on my paper that the Falcons only gave up like fourth. They gave up fourth most in passing yards with 278 yards per game. I was hoping that Kyle would exploit this, but he kind of did a little bit in the first quarter and second quarter as well. Um, the receivers missed a couple deep balls that could have added on to that passing total far as yardage because they give up 278 yards per game jimmy had 298 so they gave up more than they usually would but i thought there was a lot more yards on the field that we left out there probably an extra 100 yards out there on the field so we didn't necessarily take care of business when it comes to um taking advantage of their lack of their offensive or their defensive secondary third um i say we must stop the run third thing on the list we must stop the run. Atlanta is fourth in the league in rushing with 164 rushing yards per game. They ran through us. They ran through us like Taco Bell run through most folks. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Ran through us. I mean, I'm looking at the stats here right now. They're rushing. They had 40 rushing attempts. 40. 40. E-40 out here. They had 40 rushing attempts, 4.2 yards per carry. And it was just ridiculous. Not only did they run the ball, like, not only did they run the ball, they ran with purpose, with passion. Every time you hit them, they kept falling forward. Nobody was landing wood. Fred Warner missing tackles. They doing these little, like, arm tackles. So even when they do tackle somebody, they're not necessarily stopping them in the tracks. These guys are getting two, three yards extra at the first contact. And that's very important that when you are tackling these guys, you got to make sure you stop them in their tracks. Because say, for instance, you get a, say it's first down and 10, and they run the ball, you stop them, and it's supposed to be a two-yard loss, but you lean, like they run forward and get an extra two or three yards. That's second and six, you know what I mean? Or second and and seven and a half, like on the half yard line or something of that nature. And then on second down, you run the ball, you do the same thing. You're looking at third and short. And I would give Marcus Mariotti, like Mariota, his props for whenever they ran the ball, like RPOs, and they didn't run a lot of them, but they ran them at the perfect time when it comes to like down and distance on third down where they was able to fake the handoff and he was able to get on the edge and pick up a couple easy yards because I believe in the first – have he was their leading rusher so he was doing his thing out there our defensive line i said is also in the keys of victory so just in case y'all don't know if you don't think your boy don't know what he was talking about i'm just saying like listen up i said this right here i turned my page so y'all can understand i went lying i ain't trying to lie to kick i'm trying to be honest with you keep it a buck i said this will matter the most on sunday will the injuries of the defensive line finally start to catch up with us um against these dirty birds. This will be a battle to watch in the trenches. I said that because if you're not able to stop the run, you're not able to control time and possessions, our offense is not one of those explosive offenses. So when that time is just a ticker, 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 ticker on down, we haven't shown that we have the capabilities to be able to overcome those types of situations. So, as the game begins to go farther along, we all notice this. And then also with Kyle Shanahan and the, his play calling, 
this is just my little observation, my two cents. I felt like in coming out of half, we kind of didn't, we miss a, an explosive play to Ray Ray McLeod coming out in the third quarter, which we didn't necessarily capitalize on. I thought, in my opinion, since they had been running the game, running the ball so well throughout the entirety of the game up until that point in the third quarter, once we got our next possession in the third, I thought we should have started going to a a high level, high pace, high like high tempo. And when I mean high tempo, I'm not saying that it has to be no huddle, but I would prefer like a no huddle. You know what I'm saying? Like we have to get things going because we're allowing too much time to get taken off the clock and we doesn't have we don't have that type of explosive offensive firepower to kind of overcome that. So hey Kyle, we need to try to get as much possessions as we can and we gotta try to get this thing going. Um we gotta put that oxygen to the fire, man, and see can we create a inferno or something of that nature because this is not the game that we want to play with these people. No, 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 no. And so unfortunately they kept doing what they had to do. We had a couple of interceptions, a couple of drop passes in the second half. They really continued to stay consistent with the running game. They didn't give up on it. Uh, Marcus Mariota made some wonderful plays when need be, even though he only threw the ball maybe 14 to 15 times, I believe. Not even that much when it comes to their passing game. He was efficient, and he made great decisions. And so let me check out the box score and give you all some some analysis. Marcus Mariota was 13 for 14. He only missed one pass, and that was in the fourth quarter. He had 129 yards with a 9.2 yards per average, um, and two touchdowns, and 144 QBR. Not only that, their running game, they had a three-headed monster. Uh, Huntley, Huntley had 60 yards rushing pretty much on 16 carries. Um Al Gear had 51 yards, and then Marcus Mariota had 50 yards as well. And so when you look at that, 40 attempts for 168 yards on 4.2 yards per carry, and the longest run only being 20 yards. So they literally were just grinding and grinding and grinding, like grinding, you know what I'm saying, straight push a T out here, you know. And so they was looking like the Eclipse, how they was grinding the ball out, especially, I guess this is an O to ATL, even though, you know, they some Virginia boys. But they were just out there doing their thing when it comes to grinding it out. And they lost a couple defensive guys as well. But our guys weren't ready. Like, I mean, Jimmy was 29 for 41, 296 yards, 7.2 yards per average, two touchdowns, two INTs. There were several drops. Our running game was inconsistent. Also, just so y'all know, your boy kind of know what he talking about. I said this as well. My fifth key to victory, I gave you five. Here we one of my, my, my fifth key to victory was this. We got to average at least 4.5 yards per carry. If we keep our season average running the ball, we should do good enough so the play action will work for the passing game. Bro, we only had 16 ca um, carries for 3.1 yards, and that was it. I did say that we need a big game from George Kittle and Brandon Ayuk. They both had eight receptions for 83 yards, 11 targets for Brandon Ayuk, 10 targets for George Kittle, two touchdowns for Ayuk. But other than that, uh, Debo had seven for 70 for 79 as well. But honestly, I don't think like a lot of these. It's it should have been a lot more. Like I said, we we left a lot of out there. And again, not to cart. This is not a, a kill Jimmy segment or none of that nature. This is about uh, overall. Jimmy missed some passes, but the wide receivers a lot of times to kind of help bring us those explosive plays that I was talking about earlier that we needed, they didn't come through in the clutch. Um, McLeod dropped one. Also, Warner dropped one that could really help invigorate the offense to kind of continue to push forward, gave the defense a little rest, and then caused us to score quicker than what we actually was doing out here. So... Honestly, unfortunately, we had a lot of injuries, too, as well. Chalvers Moore got hurt. You know what I'm saying? Big up to my man Mooney, man. His groin was messed up. We saw Ebukon. He had a lower injury several times in the game. I mean, it was, it, was a, it was a rough game out there. But, hey, this has been my time. I might come back on here a little bit later once I realize some of the things that happened as far as after Kyle Shanahan speaks and so on and so forth. But we're 3-3. Three and three. I think next Sunday we got the Sunday night football game between us and the Kansas City Chiefs. So 
We need our boys to come through in the clutch. Hopefully we get some of our guys back. They said it was close that – not Kyle, but it was a close call that Trent Williams and Nick Bosa could have went out, went today, but they wanted to make sure they get an extra week to continue to rehabilitate some of those injuries because we don't want those things to continue to prolong. So, hey, we're 3-3. Three and three. Um, We'll see what's going on with the division later on. You know me. Hopefully everybody lose <laughs> in the division. The Cardinals and the Seahawks play later on, and we'll see what's cracking. So, hey, make sure y'all like, sub to the channel. Make sure you make a comment down there below. Feel free. Um, let's get it, though. Bang, bang, now the game. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Peace.